Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, one and all. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can walk inside virtual reality using the Catwalk C. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All of the footage that I'm going to be using here today all comes from my Twitch live streams. So in case you want to see any live stream content, go ahead and check out the description and there will be a link down there where you can check out the live stream content. Also, before this video goes any further, because I know that there are a lot of VR users in the metaverse that have Quest, I do want to point out that this Catwalk C does require a PC in order to run. For those of you that are on the standalone Quest and do want a solution for how you can physically walk in real life, to be able to walk in the game, I will leave a link to a different video down in the description below. Now many people are asking, what exactly is a Catwalk C? Well, in short, it's plastic and metal put together that allows you to walk in VR. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with actual cats. Alright, uh... Wait, what the fuck? What? Were you the one moving my green screen? Winston, no, get, no, get out of here! Winston? Winston? You're being a bad boy. Oh, I can't be- I can't stay mad at you. Come here. Okay, he's gone. There's a base made out of plastic that the player walks on, with metal underneath it, as well as metal prongs coming out from the sides of it, uh, with a harness that attaches to the player to prevent them from being able to fall off of the platform and holding them in place while they try to walk or run. As far as assembly goes, all you really need to do is take the feet to put it onto the pre-assembled base, take the prongs to attach to said base, and then you take the part that has the harness on it to attach to you, and that's it, you've assembled your catwalk seat. The dimensions that I've measured out for this product are, is that it has a height of 5 feet and 2 inches, and a diameter of 3 feet and 1.5 inches. For those of you on the metric system, there's going to be a height of 1.57 meters, and a width of 0.95 meters. I would recommend though, if you're trying to fit this in your play space, to have, you know, around an inch or two off to the sides, just so that way you can have space to be able to turn freely without getting snagged on anything. Like I said, with the Catwalk C, you're able to 360 in there and look at whatever direction you want and still be able to walk or run. However, depending on your play space, this could be an issue. So make sure that you measure out your play space before you buy one to see if it's going to be right for you. In order to start using it, all you have to do is plug it into your computer, strap on your Catwalk C shoes that each have their own Catwalk C shoe tracker for your left foot and your right foot, and then you're ready to go. You can calibrate where your floor is along with what your front facing direction is, all by using the Catwalk C software that's free on their website. I know a lot of you want to know about the walking with the Catwalk C. Overall, I would like to say that the walking is immersive, but not intuitive. Let me expand on that a little bit more so you get what I'm saying. Anything in VR classified as immersive adds to the experience of you feeling as though you're actually in the game. For example, when I'm using the B haptics, those are immersive, because as I'm using B haptics, I feel as though I'm getting shot or blown up or whatever. It adds to the immersion of the game. And that's exactly what this Catwalk C does. It adds to the immersion of the game. Being able to physically move your legs and your avatar moves inside the game is very, very immersive. However, the walking itself is not intuitive. Intuitive being something that's easy to come to and natural, not anything you have to adjust for. I will say that with the catwalk, with how you're strapped in, the limitations of the size of the platform, I do have to walk or run slightly different than if I were to be running outside or on a treadmill. With that being said, it is pretty cool that you can walk and run in VR. However, I would not use this as a replacement for actually working out. Using this as a replacement for a actual treadmill or anything like that is not going to be a viable option. Yes, of course, it can help you burn some calories, which I actually think is pretty cool that I can burn calories while I'm gaming. However, with the running not exactly being intuitive with how you're running in real life, I would not use this as a replacement for actually running on a treadmill or going outside and running. However, if you do find yourself breaking a sweat on this Catwalk C, I will put a link down in the description for something I call Rain X. Just put a little bit of it on your lenses, and it'll prevent your lens from fogging up while you're playing VR. I will say that one of the biggest drawbacks, in addition to the walking and running not being intuitive, is the fact that it is impossible to be able to crouch in-game while you're using the Catwalk C. Not only does it make it difficult to be able to take cover or sneak around, I just think that the design of the Catwalk would benefit a lot more if the back 
where the harness was attached to was a bit longer to be able to get further down toward the ground and crouch. Also, do keep in mind that if you're going to be using the Catwalk C, you're going to need the Catwalk C maintenance oil. Essentially, how the Catwalk C works is that the platform, like I said, is made out of plastic. There's plastic on the bottom of the shoes, Really, you're just having plastic running up against plastic in order to run, which additionally also does make it a bit noisy, which I do think is another problem with the Catwalk C. Uh, hey Rush, good to see you. Oh, puppies! Oh my god, no! Run! <laughs> But also, you're going to need to make sure that you continuously use this maintenance oil, and you're going to have to buy more maintenance oil off of their website. Lastly, I will say, if you're going to order this thing, make sure that you do not need it by a specific time, because you really don't know when this thing is going to show up. For example, whenever I bought mine, it took around five and a half months to show up. I'm going to give the Catwalk a 7 out of 10 rating. Currently, it is one of the only consumer-ready devices to be able to physically walk in VR, while standing up to do so. Not only that, but once you have all the hardware, it is extremely simple to be able to put all of it together and hit the ground running, no pun intended. However, due to the walking not being intuitive, the lack of being able to crouch, the noise that comes from using the Catwalk C, and the fact that you continuously need to buy maintenance oil for it, I would not recommend buying it in its current state. I know that we all want something cool and immersive and being able to run like we're in Ready Player One, we're not quite there yet. The Catwalk C is a very cool piece of equipment, however, with the current problems with it, I would not recommend buying it at this moment in time. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that this video helped you out. If there is any VR hardware or games that you want me to review, leave a comment down there letting me know what you want me to make a video on next. I do enjoy getting to let people know the ins and outs of all games and hardware so they know exactly what they're going to buy before they get their hands on it, and I also have quite a few comedy compilations on the channel in case you need a good laugh. So if you want to laugh, or have a review, or a little bit of both, stick around, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Hey, why don't you run this again? 243 kills! Suck my dick! I see a man with a knife! Fight me, heathen! My balls are on fire! Rabbit! Go over here, you wascally wabbit! Elmer Fudd's got some messages for you!